Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, and today I'm going to talk to you about coloring wood using dye. I think you'll be interested. Coloring wood is something that woodworkers do all the time, but most of the time the go-to product is a pigment stain, either oil-based or water-based. Pigment stains work great on open-grained wood like oak and ash, but less so on close-grained woods like maple and birch, where they have the tendency to blotch. So what product do you use if you're working with a close-grained woods? I think you guessed the answer today, dye. The reason that dye works so much better with close-grained woods is that if you were to imagine a molecule of dye as being the size of a quarter, the size of a molecule of pigment stain would proportionally be the size of a pickup truck. I found that a lot of woodworkers don't use dye because they just don't know much about it. But let me tell you, it's really easy to use. Let me show you. Dye comes in liquid and powder forms. Adding more dye gives you a more intense color. Don't worry about overlapping the dyed area. It will all normalize to the darker dyed color. To apply, simply flood the dye and water solution onto the wood. Then wipe it off. Very easy. Dye will get a little cloudy when it dries, but it's important to know that what it looks like when it's wet is what it will look like with a clear finish. Allow the wood to dry and then polish off the raised grain with a synthetic pad. You know, it's just that easy. But there is one thing that I'd like to talk about. It's essential that you wear gloves when you're doing this. Unless you don't mind, say, having purple hands for the next few weeks. It's really up to you. But now, with the help of Nick Brady, I'm going to show you one of the most impressive characteristics of dyed wood. Hey, Nick. Hey, Rob. Wow. Why would anybody build a box like that? Well, you told me to. Ah, that's right, I did. It's really bright. Whoa. So I did ask Nick to build the box just exactly like this. So how did you do it? Well, first, I cut all my parts, then I dyed them, and then I glued them together. You're kidding me. This thing glued together being dyed? Absolutely, because dyed wood and raw wood glue just as strong as each other. And that's the cool point I wanted to make. So thanks Absolutely. for explaining that to us. Yeah, not a problem. Hey, where's my box? So gluing dyed wood is one advantage that it brings. And here's another, nearly unlimited color options. Standard woodworking colors are available, but so are extremely vibrant colors and you can mix them together to create your own special hue. If you ever wondered how electric guitars get their crazy colors, dyes are the answer. A couple of quick points. Be sure to read the label as to what color the dye will make, especially with this powder form, because the color of the powder might not be the color of the solution. And second, you can store your dye solution in a container for later use. So I hope this video has been useful to you, and I hope that the next time you're thinking of adding color to a close-grained hardwood, especially something like a highly figured maple, you'll reach for some dye. I think you'll be happy that you did. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thank you for watching.